All right, we're unexpectedly back with another race for tonight. Luckily, Dingpot was thirsting for some Banjo-Tooie action, and so we got Duck answering the call versus Captain Dingpot. Say hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Uh, hopefully, the stream stays up. I was just having internet problems right before we started, and so it's... Uh, Oh yeah, hopefully nothing goes down, because um, then it would just be so tragic. Anyways, Dingpot, it's been a while since um, since you've been around the banjo race uh, scene, I guess. It have has. You, have you been playing much Tui in the meantime? So far, I've just been doing banjo Tui, no bit clips, but. I do want to expand to other categories eventually. Oh, baby. All right, well, hopefully this race will be um, a good one. I know, Dingpot, you got quite the hill to climb. But, uh, Ooh, yep. yeah, you never know. Let's uh, let's just get her started and see how it goes. So our... Oh, I forgot to sync your guys' timers. All right, get ready to start your timers. <laughs> we'll do it live. Oh. That's I, hilarious. That's hilarious. My Discord's been fucking <laughs> with me all day. <laughs> Let me know when you both are ready to just start your timers. Ready. Ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. Hey, Judah Allen. I, hope, I sure hope it is. Okay, you guys can reset. Okay, are we ready to go for real this time? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Let's okay, perfect. Yeah. I'll count you down, and then I'll uh, drag you out into your... You guys know how it works. All right, start yep. it up in three, two, one, go. And good luck. Good luck, Dingpot. Good luck. All righty. Getting ready to start the race. We're a little bit delayed. Duck's a little bit ahead, but now we're about ready. We're about even. Let's go ahead and get her started. So yeah, I thought I was done with races for uh, for today, for sure. Dingpot getting just the perfect angle. Perfect angle ready. But, uh, yeah, all of a sudden, Dingpot was like, hey, at, you know, every... Oh, God! <laughs> I think that's the first person I've ever seen anyone do that in a banjo race tournament. Or, like, a, a race at all. <laughs> that was quite the angle Dingpot took. <laughs> yeah, that that is a new one. I, I, I didn't even know that could happen, because you're supposed to, like, run over top of the water, right? Like, when you when you have speed shoes on, you're not supposed to sink in water. Unless you, like, f fall from a big height, right? So I'm not really sure how that happened. It was kind of funny. Me with my 663 hosting gobs today. Oh, oh, ducks. Ah, oh, Klungo. He's getting so lucky. Klungo could have ran in any direction, but chose to chose to go directly at him. I mean, the races are near constant today, but there won't be any races tomorrow or Sunday. From me, anyway. I won't be hosting any of them, so... Enjoy the content when you can. I mean, I guess Wednesday there was a lot, too. I think I hosted four races on Wednesday, and I hosted three races today, but... Yeah, I mean, it really is in Tokis. Oh, yeah, if you're, if you're neutral. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just have to ask him. Yeah, I mean, both of them had pretty interesting fights. I mean, Dingpot's fight was a lot less, uh, notable, I, I guess. Oh, 
Dingpot accidentally getting into Talon Trot. But first try, Red House jump, so that's good. That line was insane. Which line? What did I say? <laughs> anyway, what I was saying is that's enough. I mean, we have 45 races in total in the group stage. We got 10 from group A, B, C. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that was. It was more like a... It wasn't even a parabola, it was more like a triangle. Like, you know, that shift six key? The little hat, right? 45 races in the group stage, 10 in group A, B, C, and then group D, because it has an extra person in it, has five extra races, so 15. But I, th I think we've, like, been just motoring through the races already. I mean, the tournament's only been going for, like, less than two weeks already, and I think we've already done, like, almost half the matches. Group A only has two races left to go. Uh, I think my group and group D are the ones suffering the most, but that's just like a percentage kind of thing. Oxalan and Asmi have been away, but Asmi back. He's back tomorrow. So hopefully there will be uh, more races happening midweek. I don't know. I, Oxalan might even be back now, but he was, um, I think he said he was going to Croatia. So. So he said, don't be shocked if I don't respond. But he was only going for like four or five days, I think, so. I mean, there's still lots of stuff that can happen. It's just... That's the one thing I don't like about um, being in my own races or my own tournaments is when I have to start scheduling my own races. It's always annoying to have to find someone to host. Hey there, Runner Cam. I'm sure they can hear you from chat. <laughs> the luck will be the goodest. I mean, when you live in Europe, I'm sure it's like just going to other places in Europe is not that bad. So far, Dingpots having a pretty good run. A little bit behind Duck. I mean, obviously, you know, the blue potion incident kind of thing. Not having the shoes going into the Klungo is, uh, you know, pretty slow. Uh, come on, Digpot, you gotta be a little closer to the fuse. I hate that when you're you're so close to it. So close to it, yet so far. Sorry, I'm like, super yawning again. I was yawning for the first race of the day because I just woke up, but now I'm yawning because I just had a big bowl of Cheerios. <laughs> That overeated yawn. Too much milk. Ugh. I haven't eaten cereal in a really long time, so I was like, you know what I need? I need some cereal. 
And so when I was at the store the other day, I got three boxes of cereal. Like one thing, probably you got this. There we go. Twitch is always full of bots. I've noticed that Twitch chats are uh, have less um, have less bots that just sit in your channel. Like you know, when you bring up your viewer list, you used to see like 20 bots just sitting there in the user channel, just taking up space. But now most of them have been cleared out these days. What kind of cereal? Well. Cheerios is the one I ate today. And I also bought a box of Honey Nut Cheerios. And the one that sparked my decision for cereal, which I was craving, Frosted Flakes. Do I like Frosted Flakes? Not really, no. But, I was craving Frosted Flakes. Rice Krispies has a lot of iron in it. I don't know. I feel like if I looked at the nutritional value of Rice Krispies, it would just be like... Rice. <laughs> That's it. Chocolate milk fans? I'm a chocolate milk fan, but I don't buy milk very often. Milk's expensive for me, because I gotta buy that lactose-free milk. And they like to charge an arm and a leg for it. I think Rice Krispies is like probably one of my top five cereals for sure, but I don't know, I just, I just wasn't feeling Rice Krispies this time. I don't know what I would, uh, what I would put in my top five though, TBH. You buy chocolate milk more than regular? That sounds pretty good. But... Yeah, if I'm on like... Sometimes I buy like the extra protein milk. Just because at least it's, you know, extra protein kind of thing. Even though it's like for a 2 liter jug, it's like... For carton, it's like almost 8 bucks. But yeah, I, I don't... I don't usually get eat that much sugar. So chocolate milk is like a once in a every now and again time thing. Ooh, Dinkbot being extra careful with these chains. I thought he was gonna fall down on that first one. Chocolate milk is one of those things that like it takes me back to when I was younger. Because whenever I had an exam, whether it was like, you know, when I was in school, you know, high school, or when I was in university, kind of thing, I always, always, always drank a glass of chocolate milk before my exam. Ooh, long time. Before I left my house, I just always had a thing of chocolate milk. And so that's just stayed with me. I don't remember why I started doing it. I think I just started doing it one semester. And I was like, let's just keep doing this because... You know, your day is kind of shitty, you have to wake up early and go write an exam. But at least you got to have some chocolate milk, so it couldn't be all bad, right? <laughs> Pretty good puzzle from Duck. Bad RNG on the last couple of pieces that got stuck in there. 
It always sucks when it looks like your puzzle is going to be like a 93, and then by the time you pick up the last couple pieces and put them in it, you're already down to like 91. Or 90. Dinkbot came out of the talent trot for some... Or somehow. <laughs> Puzzle time for Captain Dinkpot. The classic side piece going into the middle. Man, now I got cereal on the brain. This is why I don't buy cereal much, just because it kind of becomes an all-encompassing thing, right? <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, if someone asked me, what is your favorite cereal? I don't know what I would tell them. Because there are some cereals that used to be really good and now just really aren't. Some cereals that, like, I get cravings for, but I don't, I don't really, like, want to, like, eat them all the time. It's just, you know, every now and again they're good. Fruit Loops I used to really like as a kid. Fruit Loops is one of those things that I swear they changed their recipe over the years to make them worse. Because they just don't taste as fruity as I remember. Fruity Pebbles I know that I dislike. I tried them once, and I do not like Fruity Pebbles. Mini Wheats is a good classic. I like Mini Wheats as a snack. You can eat them with or without milk, and that's great. It's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch is a classic if your teeth can handle it. <laughs> hey, Cass. Alright, we'll see if Dingpot can match Duck's Bonk on Grip Grab. Lost our zest and fervor for life. I don't know, there's some cereals that still taste just as good. Like, French Toast Crunch is one of my favorite cereals, I would say. I think I would put French Toast Crunch in my top five. And I, I feel like it tastes the same now as it did when I was like 10, kind of thing. But Fruit Loops is one of them. Lucky Charms is another one that I just, it doesn't taste the same. I've never had Grape Nuts. My, my store doesn't carry Grape Nuts anymore. It just got discontinued years ago. <laughs> Dingpot waking up slumber. That's rough. Yeah, every now and again I still ask, get asked for, uh, for people if we carry Red River cereal. Where do I rank Cookie Crisp? I've never eaten Cookie Crisp, but it looked good. Cookie Crisp is the cereal that they advertise as candy for breakfast, right? Or is that Reese's Puffs? 
Yeah, that, that was Reese's Puff cereal. Hey, Lemon Limey. I tried to get all the thoughts out of my head by doing, like, a podcast, like, in 2017 or something like that, and, uh, I think the first, the first big episode I did was about breakfast, and I split it into two parts, cold breakfast and hot breakfast, and I think in the cold breakfast part I talked about cereal for almost two hours straight, just to a microphone, so... If y'all want to hear how I feel about cereal, look up the GDO show on Go on a Garage Door Opener YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, Ding- Ah, oh, Dingpot, you saw the fly! Look down, down to your right. There you go. Man, that fly flew super low. I don't think I've ever seen them fly that low before. Well, I didn't see what code that got. But I see six plus six seconds on the splits there, so it's probably second try code. Or third try. I don't know what duck got in his PB. I mean, it's the same up here, pastel. Like, North American manufactured cereal is pretty sugary. But I mean, that's why I like things like regular Cheerios, Rice Krispies, and like, things like Cash Eat Go Lean. They're just not as sugary. Or Shreddies. I used to really like Shreddies, and I still kind of do. But it goes really soggy. <laughs> this is the cereal race. Ooh, I thought Dingpot was going to be stepping on that moon. At that point, you may as well go for third sec- or, uh, the moon star sun star star code. Haha, <laughs> Dingpot doesn't remember the last code. Okay, there we go. Had to think for a sec. Yeah, I mean, cereal's like, supposedly one of the worst things that you can eat for breakfast. You heard the man, Schlongster. Gotta beat him. Yeah, I guess sub two. Sub two comes first. Not just plain cereal. Well, I mean like cold cereal. Not things like, you know, oatmeal and cream of wheat, right? I'm not a big fan of eating cereal with fruit. I would rather just have, like, Greek yogurt with fruit in it or something. But I don't eat a lot of that either because plain Greek yogurt makes me want to die. If it's not vanilla or honey flavored or something, then it's like, what's the point? Okay, Shlong, you'll be back. When you dominate every category. Falcon's gonna start Banjo Tui Boot Camp and start releasing Boot Camp for <laughs> for a hundred percent. 
and no DCW. <laughs> See, if you forget to reset and you're just watching the cutscene, you may as well just not reset, right? Because <laughs> then you just have that extra time you've wasted. We're all distracting the runners here. And by runners, I mean just duck. Alright, witchy world puzzle for Dingpot. I didn't see what Duck got on either of the puzzles. We were too busy talking about the important things in life. Like eating. It's a pretty good puzzle split up for Dingpot here. And no mistakes with the pieces either. A little bit of awkwardness putting up the piece and putting down the pieces, so an 83, I think with pieces like that, could have been an 85 with good control of the hand. So I think Dingpot, that's Dingpot's best puzzle for sure. Always talking about food. I don't hear anyone complaining about it. Everyone's got an opinion on food, right? That's my argument back, okay? It's just how it goes, you know? I mean, in here, anyway. My own streams don't really turn into food that much because I'm too busy complaining about the bullshit that the game's throwing at me. <laughs> but I gotta stay positive over here, right? Nobody likes a grumbly caster. And I mean, sometimes it be- Oh, God, duck! Alright, there we go. Sometimes it makes me hungry, but like I said, right before... Right before this stream, I had a gigantic bowl of Cheerios, so... And it's not forced positivity. I just like seeing races. Seeing races put me in a good mood. Oh man, Dingpot's about to get abused by this fruity. Oh, duck, no! Oh no, duck! Alright, attempt number three. Oh my god, duck, he's just YOLOing it. Okay, attempt number four. There we go. What makes me grumpy? I don't know. A lot of things. I'm not going to talk about that on stream. That's too negative. That's more of a real talk kind of thing. That's something I could really get into talking about. Wow, I can't believe that egg made it above. I mean, I know the cursor was slightly above the ledge, but... What happened? Duck fell off the rope four times. Three times. I mean, the, the setups to jump up the rope were excellent. But then it just didn't end up working out. Being hungry makes you grumpy. 
Yeah, I mean, you're not you're not you when you're hungry, right? Have a Snickers. Dude, that fruity was just shooting coins like no tomorrow. Like someone won won the jackpot. It was like that clip I posted earlier. Like I didn't even know the fruity could shoot that far, but it just it keeps doing it. Like but then it just doesn't sometimes, so I don't really know what's going on there. Man, Duck lost 50... 55 seconds in that witchy world. I guess minus the time I forgot to reset. Oh yeah, Duck has started uh, drinking as well. That's maybe another thing. <laughs> Yeah, Duck City's got some Budweiser going on. Falcon's one of those people that I imagine plays better when he's been drinking. It's like you hit that kind of Nirvana level concentration, you know? <laughs> Probably perform worse, to be fair. I mean, drink racing sounds like a fun idea, but I don't know. I don't like speedrunning when I've been drinking. Just because, you know, you have to get up and use the washroom so much, so it's like. You can't just pause your timer, right? I don't know how people can do it. Yeah, something about alcohol just goes right through you, right? Your 2e hundo PB is a drunk race with DD Lux. <laughs> This is like Banjo Race After Dark level chat. This is what happens when there's a race going on at almost 10 p.m. Well, out west anyway. Eighteen plus stream. <laughs> Again, really nice straight line through the octopus. Banjo Kazooie rated E. Excellent video. Classic, classic internet production. Oh, Dinkpot missed the other note. It's a big oof. Alright, duck slightly going underneath the eel. Ooh, got tagged, unfortunately. 
So he's gonna get the Jam Jar's Heal text. The 2v1 for the sheer purpose of Banjo Kazooie talking felt like an actual cutscene. I cannot decipher that sentence. I'm sorry, Beak Beak. <laughs> Every 10 minutes, I eat a hot dog. Dude, I can't eat that many hot dogs. That's like 26 hot dogs minimum. I mean, over the course of four hours, I guess, but... I mean, even still... I mean, if it was like the hot dogs without the bun, though, I mean, I feel like in four hours I could probably do it, but... I mean, one hot dog every 20 minutes I could easily do. But I mean, would I want to? Not really. I mean, you can exercise, right? Eating 12 hot dogs in one sitting isn't going to make you fat. And I'm already fairly large, because COVID made me lazy. Not being able to go anywhere or do anything kind of stuck with me, even four years later. <laughs> Instead of actually, like, getting off my ass and fixing it. It's just so much easier to say, eh, COVID. It's COVID's problem. <laughs> it was a nice fast swim from both of them. I really like that, you know, everyone's doing the fast swimming now. It's not something that's like, oh... I'm not going to do this, or I'm not going to learn this, or oh, this is too hard. grab skip. I would never consider doing grip grab skip until I got a sub 4230. I would consider doing the GGM uh, clip into the waterfall before I considered doing a uh, before I considered doing Grip Grab Skip. Kazooie totally says Play-Doh there. I don't know, we... More than one of us said she totally says Briegel. Briegel! Shoot! Yeah, I mean, everyone hears something different. It's funny, I mean, obviously the the argument of that will last until the end of time is what does Kazooie say when she jumps? Does she say Bree or does she say Roo? Roo! Roo! 
That's something that would be nice when, uh, when decomp gets done in like 20 years and we're able to ROM hack Banjo Tooie. It would be so excellent to be able to replace sound effects with other things. Like, I can already hear the trolling now. <laughs> Obviously, I'm sure it would be used for good and for evil, but... If anyone has ever seen the uh, International Superstar Soccer Deluxe SNES TAS, that would be that would be some good sound effects for kickball. Just you know, whenever the balls go in the the hole, you hear "Go!" And then when you shoot the balls into your own goal, it would go, own goal? Question mark? By the way, I highly re recommend watching this task. It's, it's not, it's, it's a, like a score, a timed task, like, because it's a soccer game, right? <laughs> Duck just taking damage while he types in chat. <laughs> Alright, with a really good hag one here, uh, Dingpot could probably PB. Dingpot's currently only plus 17 seconds on a what looks like like a nine minute hag one. Maybe not nine one, maybe an eight minute hag one. So, yeah, I think Dingpot could easily get a PV here with a pretty decent hag one. And I mean, regardless of whether or not you could learn from it or couldn't learn from it, I think it's always worth watching a uh, watching a tutorial. Because there's always certain things you might see that you know you never really thought of before. Everyone likes learning new things, right? <laughs> sure, smiley face. I think that's the best way for boss tutorials to be done, is just like post commentary. But also, like, maybe uh, stopping the video every now and again to point things out or show clips from failed attempts, kind of thing. I mean, it's not really something that needs to be focused on, right? Like, once you do it once, 
and do it well once. All you have to do is say, yeah, just do that every time. Right. Uh, Dingpot pressed the A button a lot there. Man, Dingpot's gonna die. Oh, don't worry. Oh, at least he got Grunny down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's a thing, too. It's always good to have uh, resources at every level. And Dickpot stayed on the drill. This is going to be uh, a little rough. <laughs> All right, shot one grenade. Oh, we almost almost had synced uh, synced grunnies coming out and banjo putting Kazooie away. Yeah. All right, there we go. Now Dingpot's coming down. Unfortunately, starting on grenades. Oh, he got the question right. So, Grunny, you're going to be shooting way slower on that phase. <laughs> Alright, Duck on the very end of the fight only has a few uh, healths to go. Tag one tutorial for Xbox, when someone who has the Xbox version decides to make tutorials. <laughs> oh, two health left, taking a damage. And time, 44-51, let's go ahead and drag him in. All right, GGs. If you're here. Ducks had one too many. Unless he just eats. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. There you go. You're my back. Disc my Discord's been on the fritz today. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but that's... Yeah, it's happened a couple times. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll restart it. Yeah. So, uh... Did I win? Okay, run. Huh? I won? Yep, you won. Absolutely. Nice. Dingpot's just on the second battery phase. And, uh, not gonna lie, looking like he's gonna die. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's looking pretty monka so far. <laughs> There's still lots of health on the ground, but he's sitting at two health. And, uh, here, let me just, uh, bring up the, uh, let me just bring up the VLC window here. There we go. So you can watch along with everyone else. Oh, you still got one more shot. Oh, I can't believe he dodged that spell. That was so close. All right, ding pot. Oh no! Like two health, and he, he shot himself with a clockwork. Yeah, he shot it a little too close to the lasers, and it blew him up. Oh no! It's okay. He has one health. Yeah, he has one. He has health. one health the whole final thirty. Well, he gets hit by an ugger. It's done. Well, he the ugger doesn't spawn on forty to thirty, but there are four honeycombs just kind of throughout the arena. So, hopefully. It's hard. Hopefully Dingpot goes and grabs some honey. I don't know. It's, for me, it's like too hard to grab them without dying in first-person mode. Oh, Dingpot! Oh, he does the grenades. Well, that was good. Uh, yeah, that's the best one he's done for sure. <laughs> that was nice. That's like what well, I would like that one. Yeah. Now the Ugger's out, so now it's like. And he's facing oh her from like. 
good. Oh, Go grab the honey. The ugger's gonna hit you. You're so <laughs> far out. Oh. <laughs> Oh. That's all right, though. Oh, my heart. <laughs> that was a terrible run. Yeah. That. Oh, when when you when you didn't go for the honeycombs there, I was like, oh man, with all the time you spent aiming, I was like, that ugger has your number. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got a double double audio going on here. Wait a minute. Might be my side. Uh, I just I just turned down your uh your stream that's on my uh thing. I'll just like turn it off and put my music back on. Yeah, definitely lots of memes aside. Um, <laughs> you had a really I think the best puzzle that either of you guys did was your uh uh I think it was your witchy world puzzle uh dingpot. Like the puzzle the puzzles in this run were were kind of ooh. But I might have missed some because uh, we started having a deep philosophical chat about cereal out here. Makes sense. <laughs> I never yeah. got to eat any of those cereals. My parents wouldn't let me have sugary cereal. Same. But when I was in like late high school and like early college, I went ham. <laughs> oh, nice. So I duck, definitely had them now. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> duck your tent rope. Oh man, man. it's fucked. I set it up so perfect every run and I just can't jump like in a straight line. Yeah, every single time you jumped up, you set it up so perfect and then you just kept jumping off at the very last second. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was just, I was kind of just memeing around. Ever since I forgot to reset after opening Witchy World because I was talking to Schlongster, that's when it became a bit of a meme. Yeah. The rest of the run. The rest of the way. I was actually doing pretty good before that. I golded the fly split, which was good. Yeah, that's definitely a hard one. Just hard one to to um, gold split, just because of how they fly around. Yeah. Yeah, I actually got really good flies. I could have done it better if I actually hit them. They were like all right in front of me when I seed up, and I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, did I just, like, missed had them. pretty rough flies, like. The, the one fly, that last fly that you couldn't find there, it, it flew so low to the ground, I'm pretty sure you could have just pecked it. I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever seen the flies fly that low to the ground before. <laughs> it was kinda weird. Um Oh, there was something else too. Um, both of you guys, pretty good JSG earlies. Dingpot accidentally woke up the snake, which was Oh, a yep. big oops. Yeah. Uh, third try codes from both of you. No, I had second try. Oh, you had second. That's right. I looked at your splits and I saw that you were minus seven, but I couldn't remember if you said that your PB had second try code or if it, that was someone else. But My I, PB had first try code. Oh, your PB had first try. Okay. I thought you were saying your PB had second try, but I think that no. was uh, someone else. I, oh, that was uh, Asmi. Asmi's PB had second try code. So, yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. So, so yeah, um, really good grenade shots on Hag 1, Dingpot, by the way, when you could make them. <laughs> there was that one time where I think you shot every single egg you had yep. at, at Grunny. Like, did you just. Including like, a clockwork? Yeah, because you shot, like, fire, grenade, blue egg, and then shot a clockwork. And I was like, <laughs> did you just, like,. Start mashing the R button, like to try and save your eggs or what? I need to get much more consistent at all this. Yeah, I remember you were asking in the Discord about that just like yesterday, right? Or was that literally today? I don't remember. But... Would have been yeah, last night or something? Oh yeah, it would have been last night then. Yeah. Oh well, lots lots of time for practice still. Oh, and I forgot to stop my timer again. Whoopsie doopsie. I think with four wins, I'm officially uh, out of the group stage, though, eh? Uh, for sure. I with unless, three wins, by maybe. Unless there's like some big tie for the fourth person getting four wins, but yeah, I, I don't think that's actually possible. Unless Asmi drops it could the be. ball, because Asmi... Yeah, if, if Toucans two. win, if, if Asmi beats me and Toucans beats everyone else in our group, including Asmi, then we would have a tie. All three of us would tie. 
Yeah. But but I mean the top three people make it out anyway, so. Oh, so then never mind. So yeah. it is like. And so then the if all of three of you were tied, the tiebreaker points would just determine who's first, second, and third kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, first race, Stinkpot, you still got a lot of races to go in the group, but lots of practice yep. to kind of get your Hag 1 down. I think uh, you have some good potential for PB, uh, looking at the way you were playing. So, just gotta... Hopefully, hopefully uh, better Hag 1s going forward. Yeah. I think both of you had a pretty monk of Hag 1s. Duck, you got really lucky with your Hag 1, by the way. <laughs> yeah, what happened? The green potion ran away from you. Oh, the Ugger? Wait, what? Yeah. Klungo, sorry. Oh, yeah. He yeah. ran away from me? Well, it could have ran away from you. Klungo ran forward, so it wasn't, like, that bad, but... Oh, green potion at the yeah, beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Potion. That was, like, the... the up, until, up until forgetting to reset on Witchy World... I basically green Klungo being bad was my only thing and, and then failing detonator skip once. Oh yeah yeah. Oh that and, and that yeah. reminds me talking about Klungo Dingpot, what did you do in Spiral Mountain? Like your camera angle know. was so weird. We we looked and you just I just saw you grab shoes and I was like, huh, that's a weird camera angle and then you jumped into the water and got rid of <laughs> yep. your shoes and I was like, I've never seen that happen before. He was trying to see if he, he was just <laughs> Getting his Jinjo Manip file. Yeah. <laughs> Not that water. It was the one that you dumped Royston in. Oh, like, that's funny. Like on the way to Blue Eggs, the camera angle. It was just ran straight from the stump into the water, jumped out, grabbed the eggs, then ran into the, the digger tunnel. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, not a great start to the race, but it was really funny. So yeah, any yeah. any last things before I cut her loose and go collapse into bed no i'm good good luck ding pot with beating everybody else yeah thank you good race yeah oh, gg all right gg's yeah. everyone see you guys on tuesday probably or maybe monday bye bye